Hello guys, welcome back to Photographics Academy. All right, so today we're going to be looking at this image. I will be retouching it live here on YouTube. All right, so the first thing I'm going to be doing to this image is to fix this chair. So I'm going to pick up my clone stamp, then make a duplicate of my background there, zoom in on the chair and just use my clone stamp to fix one or two things. So I'm going to fast forward the video to get that done. All right, so we are done with the cleaning. This is the before. This is what we we'll have. So we'll have a neat chair now. The next thing I'm going to quickly do is to take care of the blemishes on her face, if there are any. So looking at the face, I actually cannot see any blemish. I'm also going to load up my black and white bread blemish removal adjustment. Let's see. Let me just pick up our check layer and zoom in. I still cannot see blemishes, so I'm just going to get straight to retouching with our frequency separation. So I'm going to open up my Retouch Academy and load up my frequency separation. I'll be loading the 16 bits since it's a 16 bit image. Now, because I want to still, I want to retain some textures and still have some smoothness, I will keep it somewhere in the middle at size. Pick up my meter brush and zoom in on her face. All right, so we'll just quickly start painting over the image. Make sure that you are using a similar setting, unless you have another setting that works better for you, then you can use that as well. So I'm just going to start painting. To this side. So we're not going to be doing a whole lot here. It's just going to be a very quick one because I'm going to show you how to also use AI and give your image a final touch. And it's going to blow your mind, trust me. So we'll just do more like a basic retouching here. We don't waste all the time doing it artificial, uh, manually. I'm going to stop right there, check for the body. All right, so we have that. So let me show you what we've done so far. This is the before, this is the after. Those are a very quick one, the before, the after, the before, the after, the before, the after. So I think this is likely too much. So I'm going to be reducing it down a little. So just bring it down from here a little. And yeah, we are good to go. So the next thing I want to quickly touch on is the background. So if there is one thing you will notice now, you'll notice that I am not spending a whole lot of time on even the skin retouching. Why? Because I know I'm going to be using the AI, like I said initially, to give it a final look. Now we also make it look like we spend a whole lot of time retouching. So beyond that, or rather before I do my background, let me just do a very quick dodging and burning. So I'm going to just load up my dodge and bone above my frequency separation. So we'll load our dodge and our bone. Pick up our brush tool. Make sure that the number is low. Maybe somewhere around three. Then go to my dodge. You can turn off your frequency separation. So I'll quickly start painting over the highlights. Just very slight touch like this so i'll pick up my bone and try to do the bones like that so you notice i'm just darkening a few areas that i'm noticing that the light already created that pocket of dimension. So I'm not creating new dimensions by myself. So we can turn on our frequency separation now and we'll see what we've done. So I think my dodge is too much. So I'm going to reduce it. 
and also my bones. Alright, so I'm going to match the two together to see the result before the after. Just a very quick one. Alright, so the next thing we are going to be doing, I think this bone here needs a little reducing. Okay, so the next thing we are going to be doing, like I said initially, is to work on the background. So I'm going to crop in on the image using my 4x5 or 8x10. Just crop in on the image like this. All right, so I will right click and go to select inverse. Then I will zoom in to add some areas that, are, that we are not selected. Look at this area. We'll add it to it. Make sure that every other area is good. And once you confirm it's what you want, go straight to your background and make a duplicate, just like this. Right click and go to layer view cut. Hold your control and load up the, sel the selection again. Then go to filter. And apply Gaussian blur just to smooth out the background for now. Yeah, so once that is done, well, we now have the flexibility of changing this background color to anything. So this image layer is going to be above. I will stay on my background layer, go to my solid color adjustment. So I want to use something towards the orange tone, but quite saturated orange tone. Maybe something like this. Press OK, then I'll change the blend mode to color. Or even another blend mode that will look good. So I want it in color. How does that look like a mistake? Oh, okay. So the hair color. Let's see if we use the color of the hair, how it's going to make the image look. Oh, uh, that's not bad. That is not bad, but we're not going to use it. Rather, we can actually use it and create a very distinct glow in the middle. I have an issue with my orange. It's not looking the way I want it to look. I want this part saturated, so we'll just stick with the color and probably brighten it for. All right, so we'll just create a glow right in the center to give it that separation. So how do we do that? We'll go to our gradient, pick up our radial gradient and place it right here. Make it slightly larger. Okay, so we'll now decide the color we want it to be. So let's see if we can pick the color of her hair and see how it looks at the end of the day. Oh, let's see what our orange will look like in a brighter form. Just same orange, but slightly brighter. Need to make it smaller so that it just stays in the middle. So we can as well look for any other blend mode that will allow us still give it that beautiful glow we want it to have. I think I love this, so I'll just place it right in the middle and increase it. Okay. So the last thing I'm going to do is just to create a, a zignet around this whole uh, background so that it stay, she looks like she's staying right in the center. And how do we do that? Very simple. Create a course adjustment layer. Darken the whole thing down. Pick up your brush. Pick up your brush and just make a dab right in the center. Make, make sure it's a hard brush. Just like that. Then go on your curves uh, thumbnail, then go back to your mask to load your property and feather it out. So it gives you that beautiful trust transition between colors and light yeah you can decide to change the blend mode to luminosity so it doesn't affect your saturation but i love the way it was mixing the reds the orange and the yellow right in the center so i feel i need to also crop in a little bit on this image because it's looking weird downwards so we'll just pull it in a bit more Okay, so like I said, initially, we are going to be making some adjustments on the skin 
uh, retouching and even on the skin tone using our AI. So let me take you straight to the AI and show you exactly how to use it and do all of that. Okay, guys, so this is it right here. It's called Mei Tu Ying Xiu. You will be getting the link where you can also download it right in the description of the video. Of course, I'm going to show you how that works. You are going to be getting the link on how to download it right in the description of the video. If you download it using that link and fill up the forms that will be presented to you, you will be getting 20 free credits courtesy of photographic. So how does this work? How do we intend to use it? I'm going to zoom in on the image. So look at what we did right in Photoshop. Now let's bring it to life. I'm going to go straight to my acne face removal although we said we didn't see blemishes but let's just use that and see if there are any blemishes it's going to notice so it saw the little stray hair on the face and took care of it then be uh talking about stray hairs let's just go straight down to the hair section and turn on the stray hair in case there are stray hairs around it's also going to fix that are you seeing it look at that hair i think it just worked on this which is also good. So I love the fact that it's intelligent to know that this kind of hair is supposed to have edges. And I will also soften out the hair a little. So I'll just soften it out a little. So I can do the extreme so that you see what it looks like when it softens out hair, but it's too much. So we'll just keep it very, very natural. Okay. So we can also decide to darken down the hair if we wish to, but we do not want to. I like the way it is. We can also decide to make the top to be slightly bigger, but I also do not want it bigger. So we'll stick with this. Now, the next thing we're going to do is just a little bit of skin retouching. So I'm going to collapse this, then I'll go straight to my skin retouching. So I'll collapse this as well and go down to face. Not really face. I'm looking for skin here. Yeah. So I'm going to do my micro dodging and burning, or rather before that, let's do our frequency separation. So I'm going to load up my frequency separation here and wait for it. You see that beautiful effect. See that? Beautiful. So you can increase your high frequency slightly just to still make sure you are retaining textures and probably reduce your low frequency a little. Good. Then immediately I'm going to load up my neutral gray leveling, which serves as my micro dodging I'm going in. So it does all that tiny, tiny detail removal. Look at that, the before. Then see what happens. So you see the way it levels out the whole thing. Then we'll add some neutral gray contour to bring back the dimensions that we are losing out on. See that? Beautiful. Beautiful. So once that is done, I'm, I'm coming down to the frequency separation. This is the one that deals with the body. So I'll just smoothen it out. If you feel you are still not entirely satisfied with the uh, retouching you have on the face, you can even come here and do AI face retouch and it will automatically do some retouching for the face. But it will try to smoothen it out and flatten it out, which I do not like. So I'll just reduce it and apply just a very little amount of it. Then we'll go down straight to skin tone. We'll decide exactly the skin tone we want. So I think I want something tannish or anything better. Let's see. No, this is not good for me. I prefer this, but I need it bright. So I'll go to brightness and increase my brightness or even add a little bit of whiteness to it. So let's see what the rosy would do with our skin. It's making it more red, which I do not want. So I'll come down to my temperature and try to cool it down a little. Oh, I think I love this. The way it's blending the color with the background. So we'll just add this up a little, then we'll brighten it up even bit more. Very good. The before, the after. So we'll have a very beautiful skin tone right now. So the next thing I want to do is also add a little bit of, to make the makeup on her lips, her eye, even maybe change the, try changing the, uh, the eyebrow. Let's see if we can work with that. So I'll go to my makeup section. I'll come to enhance eyebrow. Uh, I think I'm going to leave it like that. Increase my shadows so that I will get my dimensions back. That's my dodging and burning effect. And just a little dab in the highlights. Very good. Then I'll come to enhance lips makeup so that the makeup on your lips will even pop out a little more. 
she doesn't have blushes, so there's no need enhancing blushes. So I want to change the eyebrow to something even more professional. So let's see other options that we'll have here. I think I'm going to zoom out so I can be seeing exactly how it affects my image. I think I prefer this. This looks really pretty. Then for the lips, lip gloss, let me make the pink even more better. Beautiful. This is good. So you can as well reduce the intensity or increase the intensity depending on what you want. Okay. So I think this is the general, uh, I think this should be your dodging and burning effects. Oh, okay. So trying to add some textures. I do not want that on my image. We do not want to change the eyelash. The eyelash is already good. We do not want to add some smile lines. She wasn't smiling. No contour, no blushes, no lip gloss. I think we are just cool with what we have. The last thing I want to do is just to readjust the shape of our body. So I'll go down to the body and go to model. So it automatically sends the best way to position her body as a model. So we can increase the intensity of that. But I think this makes the shoulder too broad. So let's just reduce that. Beautiful. See the before, see the after. So you see the way you just adjusted this area. See the way you just pulled it down. And we are good to go. So this is the final result we have. This is the image when we came into Meitu Yung Siu. And this is the final, the before, the after. Sorry, that wasn't supposed to be. The before, the after. If we even feel the image is not blending properly with the background, which I feel it is, we can go down to the background section, come over to the retouch and increase the enhanced background. So what this does is that it tries to blend in the object with the background in using the color. So you see the way the colors are glowing even on the object and all of that. But that looks too much, so we'll try to reduce it. And we are good to go. Look at that, the before. The after, the before, the after. Thank you so much for watching. Now, the last thing we will do is to go and apply our done for you back on our Photoshop and we are good to go. So like I said initially, if you want access to this particular uh, AI software, it's totally free to download and you will get 20 free credits if you do that download using our link pasted in the description video. Of course, you can change the background of the image to anything you like, but I do not want, I love the background we created in Photoshop. So we'll stick to that. See you in Photoshop as we finish up the work there. Okay guys, so like I said, the last thing we're going to be doing on the image is our done, our done for you. So I'm just going to load it up and keep it somewhere around four and press enter just to bring everything together. And boom, that is done. Look at it, the before, the after. But I, said, I think this is too much, so we'll have to reduce it. And we are done. This is how it's done. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, I'll turn on your notification bell to get notified every single time uh, we drop a new video. Remember, if you want to download uh, May 2 Yang Siu, AI software for touching images, just go to the description of the video. You will see the link there. And load it from that link and you will get access to 20 free credit. Thank you and see you on the next one.